Hi and welcome Capricorn, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your November 2019 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so always trust yourself and what resonates, believe what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, attuned to your specific energy and questions, reach out, I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome, love your support. There is a coupon code for November, you can get $10 off my extended personal reading. You can also use it on the uh, package that includes a distance Reiki energy healing session and tarot reading, yeah? So um, all the info that you need to know about that is in the description box below. Coupon code will pop up here in a second. All you need to do is take it across the booking form, enter it when prompt to get your $10 off. It is case sensitive, yeah? My personal readings are quite different. They're deeply transformative as well as uh, inspirational, empowering, include looking at your chakra balance as well as an Akashic record check of your past life information. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. Some exciting news today, apart from having crystals to amp everything up, uh, three brand new decks to bring to you today. I um, always love working with a new deck, yeah. So first up, we have the Enchanted Map, which is all about helping you with guidance on the next steps of your journey. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you need to know, Capricorn. Ah. You've got details, details, which kind of looks like getting yourself organized. Let's pull you up the message. It says, Capricorn, the most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details, so pay attention. This is a time to be aware of the uh, fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When this uh, message appears in a reading, it's a sign to finesse a project, make small but meaningful gestures or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you're entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. A oh, bit of a heads up from spirit. Clarity and transparency are the key. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. It's about being aware, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's have a look at your general energies for the month. First up with the energy oracle. So we need to know Capricorn. Mm. You've got goddess of the moon, which is very much about trusting your intuition to guide you. Mm. You've also got yin and yang, which is um, it has a couple of meanings. I mean, it's it's number twenty-two in this deck, right, which represents the leap of faith as well as working with others. Um, working on your relationships, but 22 is an angelic number, yeah. Uh, yin and yang is about bringing yourself into balance and wholeness, light and dark sides of self, knowing when to rest, when to take action, when to receive, yeah. Wow. All right next to that, you got cornucopia coming in. A portend of what is to come. This is success on every level. Your uh, financial abundance, relationships, happiness, health, well-being. Well, that's exciting. Mm, okay, wow. This is why the first card came out, yeah? You've got a storm warning and it came hand in hand with deceit, right? So it's a big message from spirit to keep your eyes open for deceit this month, yeah? Um, particularly related to contracts you're entering into, mm -hmm. the intentions of others. Make sure you're also not deceiving yourself, but mostly the energy is about others. Um, it doesn't specifically relate to love relationships. I'm going to make that really clear to you, yeah? Um, just watch your money. Um, you've also got the message takes some time out for rest and rejuvenation. Mm, yeah. So that you can build up your chi energy, your vitality, yeah, your solar plexus chakra. Mm -hmm. It can also be a portent to those of you being unwell, is your vitality returning? Yeah. All right. Let's put some guidance with the goddess guidance. Yeah? 
It's my little guidance plan. Thank you. Mm. You've got receptivity, Hathor, allowing yourself to receive from others, not doing quite so much. It's why yin and yang is there. So basically that means that you need to be more in your yin energy, you know, your body, receptivity. Mm. You've also got Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Loving yourself with others, treating challenges in a kind and understanding manner, seeing the light and love within everyone. Mm. In terms of your cornucopia, you got the message, take a leap of faith, take risks, be daring, go after what it is you want. Whatever aspect of your life that relates to. Mm. You've had this message before, Capricorn, yeah? Your independence is integral to your success. It's a key part of self, yeah? Fast. Wow, so much here about your prosperity coming in. Universe trying to pour abundance onto you. Be open to receiving it. That's why the receptivity card's there. Absolutely watch your money because above that sit in deception, right? <laughs> Mm. You are divinely protected at this time, which is why the universe is trying to warn you, right? You and your loved ones are divinely protected. Mm. And in terms of those that are struggling with your vitality, you've got the key messages that you need to purify and detox at this time, particularly the physical body. Watch what you're ingesting. Get out and do some exercise. Get out in nature. Yeah. Normally I'd say it's your emotions, but it's specifically related to the fake, to the solar plexus, which is your energy. On the bottom of the deck, you've got bodies of water. So get any bodies of water if you can. It's very deeply soothing, healing, rejuvenating. All right, let's pull you some guidance with a crystal reading deck. Mm, okay, interesting. Some of you need to do a bit of emotional healing. You've got the awakening crystal. Uh, master teacher card in this deck. I mean, often we have parts of self that we're constantly cleaning up, right? Um, particularly if you're on a bit of a transformation, um, you can go, oh, I think I've cleaned everything up. Then life will give you another experience and you go, not quite, yeah, one more bit to clean up, yeah. It's not a biggie. It's just facing anything that comes up for you in terms of shadow self that you need to address. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely need to ground and balance your energies at this time, hematite. Yeah. That's all about seeking balance within. Mm, yeah, because right next to that, exactly what I said, yeah, the shadow side coming up. Um, for some of you, the shadow side is directly related to you getting out of your comfort zone, letting go of fear and doubt, and going after what it is you want. It's sitting directly under leap of faith. It's going to bring your cornucopia in, yeah. Um, there's also some learning to be done as well, fluorite, directly related to any storms you go through that involve deceit with someone else, yeah? Also, if it's an emotional storm you're going through, there's something you need to learn about self that's part of your shadow side. Mm, wow. You do have joy coming in, opal, directly related to your abundance coming in. can also mean that you need to inject more fun and laughter and that high vibration of energy and life into your um, circumstances, yeah? Mm -hmm. Not be so serious. Wow. Big message about looking after your body, Capricorn. You're on notice. A game, healthy bodies. Directly related to key message to make sure you get enough rest and rejuvenation. For those of you worrying about your health, you've got divine protection in between that, yeah? So you are divinely protected at this time, particularly if you're going through something serious. Mm -hmm. um, you've also got Herkimer and Diamond about listening to your dreams, following your dreams. Don't discount your ideas. They could lead you to your abundance, yeah? On the bottom of the deck, you've got trust. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you up some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. What does a Capricorn needs to know at this time? Mm. You've got time to reflect. If you have a look at this, it's a mirror reflection. So it's really about looking back on this year and about how far you've come on your journey. Yeah, congratulating yourself, recognising the big changes or transformation that you've made this year. Mm. 
Mm, absolutely. Heed the messengers. Spirit is trying to warn you, right? Listen to your gut instincts from within. Signs, synchronicities. Mm, yeah. Flew out. There is absolutely a need to embrace the dark side of self. Yeah. Second or third message about that. Mm. You also need to embrace your masculine energy and step into your empowerment, guy or girl. Um, it's your rational side. It's your action orientated side. It's the side that puts healthy boundaries in place with people. It's the side that speaks up for self. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at love and romance. The romance angel oracle. So you need to know Capricorn. Mm, okay, so you've got finances and career effects during your love life right now. That can bring additional stress into your relationships. Um, it can also hold you back a bit from putting yourself out there in love. It can be you, it can be the person you're connecting with. Um, there's divine timing going on in your love life right now. It can be related to the universe waiting for you to, particularly if you're single, yeah, for you to come into your abundance. It can be for you to return to good health. Mm -hmm. So your path will then align with someone else. Yeah. You've also got new love here, yeah? Someone new has stirred up your romantic feelings. Well, hello. That will be coming in. Mm. You've got the message to decide what it is that you want so it comes to you soon. That's about putting out the vibrations about what you want to draw to you. It can also mean if you've got a few choices in love, it's making up your mind. Mm. And uh, anything that comes up, right, honestly discuss your feelings, have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, yeah. Mm -hmm. Particularly if you're worried about deceit going on in love relationships, it can be related to that. Mm. And make the effort, Capricorn. Yeah, take the steps you're guided to take in love. For those of you that want a love relationship, not everybody does. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot here for singles, yeah, about trusting your feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, particularly about anyone that's sort of sparked your interest, guy or girl. Okay, let's put you some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle, see what comes out. What does the Capricorn needs to know at this time? Wow. So for some of you, you've got an unlikely, yeah? So... In the context of that, if we're looking at love, there might be someone you're interested in and the feelings are not returned, yeah? Um, that's the case. You need to have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations to figure out exactly what the other person's intentions are or where you stand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of your reading is very much about it's up to you. If you want love, you've got to let it in. You've got to put yourself out there, be assertive, make the effort. Decide what it is that you want. Mm, wow, some of you is big fat no, yeah? Big fat no. So just watch, just watch out that the deceit, the storm warning is not related to someone you're connecting with, yeah? Because the spirit's saying don't go that way. Mm, yeah, because the angels are watching over you at this time. They are going to give you signs and signals if there's something underhanded going on. Mm, yeah, key message you've got is just to let go of that connection. Absolutely. Um, definitely look for a sign. There is love coming in in the near future, right? So you may be connecting with someone that's not worth your time or effort, yeah? Because you do have love coming in. It's um, not the right vibration. Dare I stay on the bottom of the deck? Abundance. Hello. And don't stop, keep going, keep moving forward. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from another brand new deck, which is super exciting. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. It's all about connecting your physical body, the spiritual body to the universal source energy, as well as the earth. Let's see what your guidance is. Mm. 
Mm, wow. You've got the fire prints, yeah, all about optimism and aggression. Mm -hmm. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Capricorn, when the fire prince arrives as your ally, he lets you know that he represents the invisible forces behind all manner of manifestation, and he brings you the gift of optimism. You will be rightly inspired to move forward and take confident and assertive action to reach your goal. Envisaging the path of the highest good with an optimistic outlook, the Fire Prince also brings you the gift of a miracle. Dare I say it may be your abundance. Mm -hmm. Things come together as if by magic to create the reality that you seek. You have every reason to be hopeful. Move forward knowing that you have everything you needed more just remember to share your enthusiasm believe in others and be optimistic for them too and your good fortune will multiply wow so much about your prosperity coming in and universal angelic support at this time to help you manifest it all right let's pull you crowning energy from the Cosmic Awakening of the Soul Oracle. Mm -hmm. Another new deck, which I have to say is gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. So funny. So funny. Third message about your shadow self. Yeah. Too funny. Wow. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Capricorn. Unless you learn to face your shadows, you will continue to see them in others because the world outside you is only a reflection of the world inside you. So true. You may be wondering why you are facing so many triggers and challenges of late. Things have been going well despite a few road bumps along the way, but the challenges that have been appearing all around you recently seem so overwhelming and disorientating. Just when you thought you had everything under control, it seems as though the world has suddenly shifted. Spirit understands your confusion and uncertainty during this period. Rest assured, dear one, it is a time of cleansing and clearing all that was avoided and hidden inside you. Healing of the worlds within is taking place and raw emotions are resurfacing. You are exploring and uncovering the darker shadows of yourself. This is why you are being faced with an insurmountable challenges and triggers. You see, it is only from being pressured that the darker side of you surfaces. This is an important and necessary time for you. Back cleaning up your stuff, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. As hidden parts of you surface, be gentle. Send love and compassion to the wounded parts of self. If there is rage, send love. If there is hurt, send love. May love reign on all aspects of you, whether they be dark or light. This period can be quite testing, being challenged by unforeseen events triggered by people closest to you. Through this cleansing process, your level of consciousness is expanding to new and heightened states of awareness and clarity. As you move through this period, be assured that you're not alone and that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Wow. Uh, very much related to your root chakra and your sacral chakra, which are where your, your root chakra is all about your stability, your financial material needs, yeah, um, your protection. Uh, your sacral chakra is all your emotions, things that come up from the past. Mm -hmm. And the affirmation says, I am healed as I acknowledge all aspects of myself. Wow. And if you need any more inspiration, motivation to help you with that, to just release the Warrior Spirit collection of tees, tanks, hoodies, and leggings, gym gear. Guys and girls, yeah, it's all about pulling out your Warrior Spirit, dusting it off to face challenges in life. Yeah, there's also an Earth version coming out, which is all about connecting your spirit to Gaia Mother Earth, as well as universal source energy. Mm hmm all right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to grab your coupon code before you go. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.